Hey there, springtime's right around the corner and it's time for me to get some of this equipment uh, serviced and ready to go again. This lawnmower I've had for three or four years and I think the PTO clutch is going out on it. I think it's supposed to be a non-repairable item, but I'm gonna take it off and take a look at it and see if I can replace the bearings. First, remove the belt, or take the belt loose. Let me let this thing down. What I'm doing is wedging a pull bar into the tensioner where I can get the, the belt loosened up like that. Okay, that's a 5.8 socket. It ain't gonna come with that. There's a big washer under the bolt with flat spots on each side that I assume you're supposed to hold the shaft from turning with. Hmm. Let's go to plan B. I guess I should have taken the wire loose first. We'll see if it sounds different without the PTO on it. I don't think that's it now. I think something else is wrong with it. Okay, what I did was remove the dry belt, which is this one. It normally goes between these two pulleys and back to the engine. So I removed that and I think I found the problem. This bearing sounds okay. Can't even hear it. This one, it's shot. So that's my noise problem, which really is kind of a good thing for me, I think.
That's a nine sixteenths. Okay, here's the culprit. Definitely a bad bearing in it. I'll just get online and see how much I can find two of these four and replace them both. We're looking for this item right here, which is called the X mark part number 116-2456. It's a flat pulley idler. They show it at $21.32 at this X mark site. Amazon sells the same thing here for $16.99. So I'm going to order two of these and replace them both. Later. Today, this came in. I'm just going to replace both of them. Looks to be exactly what I need. Let's get it installed.
you have to wedge the spring tensioner back in order to get it over this pulley right here. It took me a few tries to figure out how to do that, but once you see what to do, it's pretty easy. I wanted you to see, so here's my pull bar. There's the shaft of the spring tensioner I'm tapping on. So I go behind it and in front of this pulley here. And then you can see I can wedge tension on it here. And then take it back out. So that's, that's what I did. That's the way I got the tension off the belt. Okay, I'm gonna see if it sounds any better. Sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> 